Hey everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today just want to do a really quick video on how to install and configure the flightsimulator.me all-in-one tablet version 3.0. I've had a lot of questions about this uh, and the installation process is not as straightforward as some other uh, plugins so uh, let's uh, get right into it. Actually, before we do, if you haven't already, don't forget to hit like and uh, don't forget to um, subscribe if you're enjoying this content. And uh, let's get into it. So first thing you need to do, go to flightsimulator.me uh, and you should see the tablet on the homepage. If you don't, you can just click on All-in-One and then click on All-in-One 3.0. Uh, once you're here, what you want to do, you want to sign up um, for either an advanced or a premium uh, subscription, um, and uh, that will give you access to uh, actually, you know, uh, uh, activate the tablet once you install it. So, so do that first. I'm not going to go through that process. That's pretty straightforward. Um, so, pretty easy. Just click on download file. It is going to download an executable. Uh, which I already have here on my desktop. So just double click. Uh, and now here's where some people get tripped up. So this is important. You see this little little uh, options link here? Click on the options link. And what you want to do is actually, um, you want to, I just copy and paste the location of your MSFS community folder. Uh, so I'm going to do that now and then click on OK. So I have the Steam version. So I, this is the, the link to the, um, I'm sorry, this is the uh, the path to the community folder for the Steam version. If you have the, uh, uh, just the, the non-Steam version, paste in whatever the link or the path to your community folder is, paste it in here in the options and then click on OK and then click on Install. And you're going to get the standard uh, prompt to install as an admin. And that is pretty much it. It's just going to install the files into your community folder. Uh, when it says installation completed, just click on finish. Uh, so let's pull up our community folder. And you can see here that we now have the, uh, where is it? Here it is. You'll see this FS base in-game panels all in one. So make sure that that is in your community folder. Um, it, the installer will also install, and I'll drag it over to this screen. It's going to install this web server folder uh, just on your desktop. Uh, and um, basically, this is um, this is the folder that contains the the web server exe that you need to run every time before you uh, uh, you know try to use the tablet now what I like to do and you guys don't have to do this but this is what I do just to keep everything in one place just drag the web server folder into this FS base in-game panels all in one folder like that so now you've got everything all in one place one more thing I like to do is go into the web server folder and you'll see this web server.exe. Uh, if you uh, right click and create a shortcut uh, to that, um, actually, if we copy, how do we create a shortcut? Come on. Oh, here it is. Create shortcut. So now I've got a shortcut to web server exe. Drag that somewhere on your desktop. I like to put it kind of close to where I uh, have the, just the MSFS launcher um, is you're going to need to run that before you uh, before you try to use the tablet so that's it in terms of installing so now let's jump over into msfs and uh, i'll just show you real quickly how to configure it so we launched the sim just sitting here in the back of the uh uh, PMDG 737, uh, doesn't really matter which aircraft you load in, obviously. Um, you're going to notice that you have a new toolbar icon here for the all-in-one tablet. So actually, the first thing you need to do is um, 
you can do this before you launch the sim or just anytime before you launch the tablet. Make sure that that web server exe is running. Remember we created a shortcut for it. So I'm just gonna make sure that that is running. Also, if you're a VATSIM radio user, um, you wanna make sure that you uh, you launch the, uh, the VATSIM radio server as well so that you can use VATSIM radio within the tablet. Um, so all you do is uh, go ahead and launch the all-in-one tablet. You're gonna get a, a register form here. So just type in the um, username and email that you used to sign up uh, or to register rather um, and click on register and I am already registered so that's fine uh, and and that's it um, now you should be able to uh, I think you need to close the tablet and relaunch it and when you do there you go you get your all-in-one tablet uh, all up and uh, and running um, I launched uh, VATSIM Radio uh, EXE so I've, uh, I've got that running here um, uh, Navigraph, I think the first time you tried to use Navigraph, it's going to, uh, I don't actually that loaded just fine. Uh, don't worry about the, I have my font size increased because I use this in VR, obviously. Um, you may get a prompt to, um, you know, sign into Navigraph the first time you use it. Uh, that is normal and you only have to do that one time. Um, one other thing that I'll note for this video, so, so that's basically it folks, by the way, I mean the tablet's up and running, um, but one thing I'll note, if you want to um, have, uh, if you want to use the PDF viewer, um, some people have, have asked uh, kind of how, uh, how to get files, um, it, you know, uh, PDF files to show up in the PDF viewer. It's pretty simple, um, but you have to, you have to kind of know what you're doing. So to get PDF files to show up and I'm going to close this. Go ahead and uh, navigate to the web uh, here, na navigate to the, the folder where the, where the web server runs from. So remember we, we put the web server under here. Um, so we have this web server folder. So go to web server and then you need to go into the root folder and there's a files directory um, here. So for, from here, you can just drag and drop, uh, like here's a, this is a uh, an old uh, OFP that I generated from, uh, from SimBrief. So I drag and drop that into this, um, you know, again, in the community folder, the FS base in-game panels all in one. Remember we dragged and dropped the web server folder into there and then root and then files, just drop your PDF in there. And now when you launch the tablet, we should see, uh, there it is. And it's the, these show up in alphabetical order. Um, if you want to navigate uh, uh, between the files that you have stored in that, uh, in that folder, you can just click the, uh, this next button or this back button uh, and, uh, and they'll show up again. It's a little bit big because the I have this all set for VR use and everything's a little bit zoomed in. So, um, so yeah, folks. So that's it. Uh, you know, pretty pretty simple to install and configure, but there are a couple of gotchas. Um, you know, especially around getting the uh, uh, the tablet to install into your community folder by clicking on that options link. Um, so, folks, if you enjoyed this video and it helped you out, don't forget, please hit the like button. Um, and uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel uh, for more content like this and uh, to uh, get notified of uh, some of the upcoming live streams that we do pretty frequently. So that's going to be it for me. If you have any questions, pop them in the comments uh, or head over to the Discord if you're having trouble uh, you know, setting this up even after watching this video. And uh, we will help get you up and running. Uh, so that's going to do it for me. Thanks for watching and um, we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.